Hello, welcome po again to my channel, Adobong Briton. Ito po si Nurse Haji. Um, today, meron po tayong challenge. Ang ating pong challenge ay uh, to know the medical abbreviations dito sa UK. Okay, so doon po sa mga nurses na aspiring to work here in UK, uh, I want to share to you some of the common medical abbreviations that you'll see. Uh, in hospital settings. So yan po, um, tingnan po natin kung kayo ay updated sa mga um, medical abbreviations. Doon po sa mga UK nurses din, okay, tingnan po natin kung ilan po ang score na makukuha nyo after ng presentation na to. Okay, so let's start po. Number one, N B M. What it means is nil by mouth, nil or nothing by mouth. N B M. So yah po yung mga patient na going to theater. We call it theater here, but uh, sa atin po we call it as uh, operating room. Number two. O O H C A. Ano pong ibig sabihin yan? Nung una ko pong ma-encounter yan while I was doing the transplant coordinating. Naku-confuse ako kung ano yung OOHCA na yan. OOHCA, 79 years old male. Ang ibig sabihin ng OOHCA is Out of Hospital Cardiac Arrest. Number 3, DNA CPR. Ibig pong sabihin yan is do not attempt cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Number four, P-U-O. Pong ibig sabihin yan. Pyrexial of unknown origin. Yan po yung mga pumapasok sa hospital na may lagnat o may sepsis somewhere. Pero hindi po malaman kung saan nang gagaling. So, pyrexial of unknown origin. Number five, TWOC. T-W-O-C. TWOC. Nung muna ko po narinig yan, sabi ko, TWOC. Ang ibig po sabihin ng TWOC is trial without catheter. Number six, p U. Ano yung PU? Ibig pong sabihin yan is pus urine. So, kung manonotice nyo po, lahat po ng medical abbreviation is literally just pure English. Nung muna po kami dumating dito, it's very difficult to comprehend ano ba itong mga abbreviation na ito. Number 7, BE. Ibig pong sabihin yan is both eyes. Number eight. Hoof. H O O F. Hoof. Ano ibig sabihin ng hoof? Alam ko po eh basketball eh kasi hoof. Ali hoof. <laughs> okay. So ang ibig pong sabihin niyan is home oxygen order form. Yan po yung pinifill up namin kung meron po kami dinidischarge na patient sa community na kailangan ng constant oxygenation. So, yan po. Hoof. Number nine, hash sign. So, itong hash sign po, hindi po ibig sabihin ito ay Twitter. Okay? Sa medical term po, pag nakita yan, sa medical uh, documentation, pag nakita nyo po yung hash sign, hash pelvis, hash arm, hash ribs. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po ng hash sign sa medical uh, documentation dito is fracture. So, fracture of pelvis, fracture of arm, or fracture of ribs. Okay? So, hash sign means fracture. Yan, yan po. Number 10, ED. Okay? means po is emergency department number 11 
most commonly known po ang emergency department as A and E. Okay, A and E. Marinig niyo po yan. Very common sa lahat ng uh, tao. When you say A and E, it means accident and emergency. So sa atin po yan is ER. Okay, emergency room. So nila po is A and E. Number 12. B-O. Yan, hindi po body odor ang ibig sabihin niyan. Ang ibig mong sabihin niyan is bowel open. Okay? Yan po eh, yung pag nakadumi na yung pasyente nyo. Next po dyan is 13. BNO. Since we're talking about bowels open, yung BNO is bowels not open. At para po sa number 14, BWO. So, meron po tayong BO, bowel open. BNO, bowels not open. And BWO, sabihin po niyan is bowels well open. Number 15, USS. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ultrasound scan. Sa Philippines po yan, I think uh, it's UTZ or UTS, ultrasound, UTS, I think it was. Uh, dito po, USS means ultrasound scan. Yan po. Number 16, PMHX. Ano pong ibig sabihin yan? Past medical history. So yung next po dyan is SHX. Means po niyan is social history. At minsan po makikita nyo rin yung DHX which meant drug history. Yan po. Number 19, RTA. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, road traffic accident. At pag dinala na po sila sa dinala na po sila ng ambulance sa accident and emergency, dinala po sila ng paramedic, yan po ang ating number 20. BI BA Baiba Ano pong ibig sabihin ng Baiba? Okay Ang ibig pong sabihin niyan is Brought in by ambulance So yan po ang ibig sabihin ng Baiba So pag nagka-RTA Dinala sa Accident and Emergency Ang abbreviation po nila is Baiba Brought in by ambulance Okay, makikita nyo po yan sa documentation ng A&E doctors or sometimes nun sa uh, acute medical unit or assessment unit. Number 21, OBS. OBS. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, marinig nyo po yan palagi. OBS. Have you done your OBS? What's the patient's OBS? Okay. What is OBS? Dito po yan, ang ibig sabihin ng OBS is observation. Sa atin po yan, ang counterpart po niyan is vital signs. Hindi po nila ginagamit yung vital signs dito. Ang ginagamit po nila is observations or OBS. What is your patient's OBS? Okay, so ibig sabihin po niyan, blood pressure, heart rate, temperature, saturations, oxygen. Yan po yung mga observations. OBS Number 22 S-O-B-O-E SOBO Okay, ano pong ibig sabihin niya? It means Shortness of breath On exertion Yan po Number 23 Kung meron pong SOBO Meron din pong SOBAR Okay, S-O-B-A-R Ano pong ibig sabihin ng SOBAR? Shortness of breath at rest. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng SOBAR. And lastly, number 24, BM. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng BM? Ibig sabihin po niya pagka tinanong, What's the patient's BM? Huh? Anong BM? 
So, ibig sabihin po niyan yung blood sugar ng inyong pasyente. Bakit po siya tinawag na BM? Kasi po, nung araw, meron pong company na nag-produce ng paper strip to check the patient's blood sugar levels. At ang name ng company po is Boringer Mannheim. So, yun po ang kwento nun. So, since then, ginagamit na po ng tao yung BM. So, what's the patient's BM? Yun po ang ibig sabihin. Kaya, tinawag siya ng BM. So, dyan po, nagtatapos ang ating vlog for today. Hopefully, tingnan nyo po kung nakarami kayo ng score. Yung pong ating mga nurses dyan. Kung marami po kayong uh, abbreviations na nakakuha ang tama. Mostly sa mga nag agency I believe marami pong nakakuha ng sagot na tama. Especially kung nag-work po kayo sa different places, A&E, Oncology, Medical Assessment Unit, Surgery. Marami po kayong napipick up na mga medical abbreviations. So hopefully nagustuhan nyo po itong medical topic for today. And kung hindi pa po kayo nakasubscribe dito sa aking channel, Make sure you like and subscribe uh, to see more of these uh, kind of videos in the future. So, hanggang dito na lang po. Hanggang sa susunod po ulit, magkikita-kita ulit tayo. Bye for now. Ta-ta!